Hello world. We are back with another episode of this fascinating series where we cherry pick some of the most interesting DevOps nuggets just for you. So without any further ado, let's talk DevOps. Today we are here to talk about a cool framework called GitOps. And even if you did not get that, don't worry because to guide us with that, we are in the good hands of our DevOps expert Thomas. Welcome Thomas and please help us with a quick intro on GitOps. Hi, um, sure. Thank you, Shadesh. And hello, everyone. So basically, in today's fast-paced world, um, DevOps teams are constantly looking for ways to streamline their processes and improve efficiency, right? So GitOps is another such development um, in the DevOps world, which promises us to revolutionize the way teams manage their infrastructure. OK. So how exactly does GitOps work? So GitOps first is a methodology, right? Um, mm -hmm. It's leveraging Git. Um, Git is a source code um, management tool which has its benefits. So we use it to manage the entire application delivery process. Um, and when we adopt GitOps, um, we express the system desired state declaratively. So we store the state in a versioned and immutable way and, uses, and use tools um, to automate and ensure the actually state is reconciled with it. So in return, this eliminates manual processes, reduces errors, and speeds up the delivery. Awesome. So you're saying GitOps ensures one, no manual processes, lesser errors, and three, quicker delivery. Very good. All right. And so what's the best way for teams to leverage the benefits of GitOps? So basically, the key benefits um, of GitOps is the, the ability to have a full visibility and control over your infrastructure. All changes are tracked and auditable. This makes it easy to roll back in case of issues or bugs or even disasters. And when using GitOps, um, teams can eliminate manual processes, especially for configuration management. We all know how much pain this can be. Um, but we also gain complete visibility and control over their infrastructure and collaborate more efficiently within the organization with other teams. This in turn reduces the risk of introducing errors, speeds up delivery frequency, and improves the overall system uh, quality. Yeah, sounds great. Thanks a lot, Thomas, for your wonderful inputs. And with that, it's a wrap for this episode. We really hope you get some value out of it. Do try GitOps and see the benefits for yourself. Until next time, keep talking DevOps.